Volvo's XC60 crossover, which debuted as a 2010 model and was last updated for 2014, is a competent and sophisticated luxury ute when viewed in isolation. But park one next to the brand's excellent new XC90 SUV, and its grey hairs immediately become apparent. An observation we made in our review of a front-wheel drive 2015 T6 model with Volvo's then new drivey gasoline four-cylinder. With so many newer alternatives in the white hot crossover class, simply adding all-wheel drive to a similar T6 model, the focus of this review doesn't change the XC60's aged status. The midsize XC60 T6 drive is motivated by the more powerful of Volvo's two 2.0-liter turbocharged fours the XC60's turbocharged and line 5 and 6-cylinder engines, still available on non-drive variants, will be discontinued for 2017. With assistance from a belt-driven supercharger in addition to the turbo, the T6 version produces a stout 302 horsepower at 5,700 revolutions per minute and 295 lbft of torque at 2,100 revolutions per minute. Despite some coarseness at high revs, it's a power dense engine capable of moving even the larger, 3 row XC90 with ease. There's notably more thrust and better throttle response than there is in the 240 horsepower. Turbunli T5 a drive e, which shares the smooth shifting 8 speed automatic with this D6 version, lesser XC60S get by with a 6 speed automatic. Mediocre moves as you'd expect, our wheel drive adds both cost and weight, $2000 on the XC60's window sticker and about £100. Our 4,205 pound test car reached 60 miles per hour in 6.4 seconds and covered the quarter mile in 14.8 seconds at 97 miles per hour, respectable figures that put it mid-pack among competitors such as the Audi Q5, the Lexus RX350, and the Lincoln MKX. With the engine's grunt distributed between both axles instead of just to the front, there's less torque steer tugging at the wheel during hard acceleration and a greater sense of stability in turns. The super turbofer is even more potent rated for 14 more horsepower in the XC90 T6, which is 500 pounds heavier and which, in our last comparison test in California, hit the same acceleration marks in 6.0 and 14.6 seconds, respectively. The all-wheel drive XC60 carries an EPA combined fuel economy figure of 22 miles per gallon versus the front driver's 24 miles per gallon. We only average 21 miles per gallon over nearly 900 miles of mixed driving, but that's about on par with our measurements for others in the class and actually 1 mile per gallon better than what the front wheel drive version returned in our hands. The XC60 prioritizes safe and secure handling over driving enjoyment, which makes sense for this segment. Ride quality is generally calm and composed, except for some loud clomping over large pavement seams. But the chassis and the num, electrically assisted steering refuse to contribute any fun when pushed hard into a corner. Predictable understeer is the overriding quality regardless of the number of driven wheels. Our test car's 19-inch Michelin all-season tires had grip rivaling the front drive XC60's 20-inch Biley Scorpion Zeros, we measured 0.79 grams versus 0.82, with both vehicles limited by intervention from a stability control system that can't be fully disabled. Despite an initially soft-feeling brake pedal, our examples so so stopping performance 70 to 0 miles per hour and 183 feet was, again, average for the segment. Little of the Volvo's at limit performance matters, however, when sitting in our test car's option of $500 contour seats, some of the most comfortable and supportive thrones extant. While the XC60's back seat is a little tight on legroom, there's ample space in total for four people in their stuff. The split folding seat backs fold flat in a cinch, which opens up the capacious 31 cubic foot cargo hold to a full 67 cubes. Like, 
so old school the XC60's main demerit goes to its ancient infotainment system, which looks stale and is convoluted to operate, especially for those who have spent any time with the big portatory and touchscreen in Volvo's latest models. Interior materials and build quality are fitting for a $50,000 vehicle, with our test cars aluminium details and $400 matte walnut wood gym on the center console lending a warm Scandinavian vibe. But the XC60's button heavy center stack and clumsy selector knob for the main 7.0 inch display are in glaring contrast to the simplicity of Volvo's new user interface. The same goes for the T6 Drive's instrument cluster, which is configurable for eco, elegance, and sport modes once you master the unintuitive controls on the turn signal stalk. The standard 3 based Volvo on-call system offers Wi-Fi connectivity, but Apple CarPlay and Android Auto haven't yet reached the XC60. The XC60 is fairly well equipped at the T5 Drive's $37,595 starting point. Stepping up to the Super Turbo T6 Drive, however, runs an additional $4,750. With our test cars, I'll wheel drive up in the MSRP to $44,345. Our example's grandest option was the top spec platinum trim level, which bundles together the convenience package, power folding exterior mirrors and rear headrests, a premium Harman Kardon audio system, and a 12 volt outlet in the cargo area. The technology package adaptive cruise control, collision warning with pedestrian detection lane departure warning, and more, and several other extras for $4,400. Also included was the $1,550 climate package, heated front seats, steering wheel, washer nozzles, and windshield, with Volvo's integrated rear child booster seats, 19-inch aluminium wheels 18s a standard for $750 and a couple of smaller items for a grand total of $52,505. While the XC60 is not as artfully contemporary as Volvo's latest models, a redesigned 2018 version should bow late next year and will surely borrow cues from the larger XC90, as well as from the funkier XC40 that will soon occupy the basement of Volvo's crossover lineup. A heavily revised cabin loaded with the latest tech is all but certain, too. But considering the $50,795 starting price of an all-wheel drive XC90 T6 with the same engine, as well as a multitude of newer competitors, opting for an XC60 equipped like our test car doesn't make a lot of sense.